I need everybody to leave down below. Would you allow for your your child, your daughter, your young daughter, to listen to WAP on replay? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. But this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me. But it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? DBN. Jack Frost. Mike? What's up, party people? I ain't so. Yeah. So apparently... Cardi B has recently did an interview in which she speaks about the backlash which she received after the song WAP came out. And instead of saying the song was kind of racy, I can understand how some people could be upset or disappointed. She says it was the Republicans fault. Okay. Now, I just want to be clear on something. Um, I am not an individual who has an actual problem with the song from the aspect of it should not have been made. I'm not here to argue those uh, th those type of that position. I, I can't say that it, it should not have been made at the end of the day. Um, I have my own reasons for that. I think that if you want to listen to the song Whack, think that if you want to create the song WAP, you have all of the rights of any regular citizen, go for it. But I just also want to acknowledge that there's the lyrics in that song literally say wet ass and they say the word vagina, but they use the explicit term for it uh, that starts with a P. At this point, <laughs> I'm trying to be as fair as possible to Cardi B. But at this point, I think that we need to decide. And, and I am an active believer that I don't care where you work at in, in your life. That doesn't mean that you can't have something valuable uh, to, to lend or to, 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 to help valuable to save or valuable thoughts that should be shared with others. I think that no matter what level of life you've come from or that you're currently at, that your thoughts, not all of them obviously, because hell, not all of my thoughts have value, but everyone has thoughts that has value. Now with that same, <laughs> please, could we try to get somebody other than X strippers to be the barometer for what we think that our kids should listen to. Because Cardi B, I just want to be very clear on this. <clears throat> Cardi B literally turned the song off when her daughter walked in the room. Can we can we just remember that that happened? Can we remember that that was a thing? Cardi B was listening to the song, dancing on whatever app she was on. And her daughter walked in the room and then she said, nah, 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 nah. This gotta go war. Coach here. Shout out to Coach. Can we remember that that's a thing? Because in that moment, she was all of the Republicans, right? I don't think Cardi B, when, when Coach came in the room, said, hey, come over here and let's do this whack TikTok dance together. Right? I mean, with all respect do. I'm in no way trying to be disrespectful to her daughter nor Cardi B. I'm just pointing out 
that when she says that Republicans are the only people that did a problem with the song. No, you obviously showed us that there are mothers that would probably have a problem with their child listening to that song. Right? Because you're literally one of them. Anyway, uh, shout out to this Fox News article. Uh, this is the way I, I originally read this from. We might actually put the article, not this article, obviously, but our own, our own spin on it on our BBN channel, um, BBN website. But uh, basically, shout out to Tyler McCarthy. Um, anyway, so they were speaking with Apple Music Zoe, Zane Lowe. Uh, and Zane Lowe explained that she was surprised that people reacted well, I mean, pardon me, Cardi B was speaking with Apple Music Zane Lowe, and Cardi B explained that she was surprised that people reacted um, so much to the song, arguing that she grew up listening to nasty and freaky music all her life. But did I just point out, and we all saw, her stop her own daughter from listening to this specific song. Also, might I add, this article dropped on uh, February 7th of 2021. So this article dropped well after she decided she didn't want her own daughter to listen to the song. I just want to, I'm going to keep pointing that out I, if I haven't pointed it out enough already. Um, also, just so we can be clear, Cardi B has the right to make whatever type of music she wants to make. I'm pretty sure whatever music she decides to make, there's going to be people out there that is going to be 100% with it. Like, you know what? That music, that's the thing. So Cardi B, keep doing your music. I'm not trying to knock your music. Just it, whether I listen to it or not isn't important. You have a fan base that you need to keep up satisfied. If you're keeping your fan base satisfied, who the heck is me or anybody else to try to speak negatively or down on what you're doing? Because I'm not. But I do want to point out, when that song started, when our daughter walked in the room, Cardi B changed. The, she turned everything on and took a sip of wine. She was like, oh, man. She did the whole wiping the forehead and shaking the hand off into the wind move. She was not playing with them fools. I just say the fools. I mean, there was no fools present. So, um, I just want to be clear on that. Um, also, another thing, just so we could be 100% uh, transparent. Um, she says parents are responsible to what their ch children listen to uh, or see. Um, I'm a very sexual person, but I'm not around my child, just like every other parent should be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say maybe that's where she decided to uh, turn the song off. But I just want to be clear on something. Republicans wasn't the ones that was mad at Cardi B about that song. Parents, parents, <laughs> not all parents, obviously. But mostly parents were upset that now their child is listening to, is walking around in public somewhere and this song is coming on. It, I doubt it was only Republicans. I, I know quite a few people who are not, who don't like Republicans and, and definitely did not agree with this specific song. With that being said, I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section. Um, and more than anything, would you listen to this song with your two-year-old? Would you let your two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old daughter, by the way, I'm not even saying son. I'm saying, would you let your daughter, would you let your, 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 your young, impressionable daughter listen to this song? Would you, you know, you and your, your, your eight-year-old is in the house dancing and y'all turn on WAP? Like, is this a thing? I'm curious. Um... I'm not trying to send BCW. I don't know what they call Child Protective Services no more. Uh, but I'm not trying to send those guys to your crib. <laughs> like, then I go, oh, man, we got another one. Beep. And they, they pop it up at your door and shit. Like you for sure. Like you for sure. Whatever that guy's name is. But um, no, I'm, I'm saying, just so we can be clear, I want to know is do you find this song to be acceptable to listen to with your with your child, your, your daughters? Do you find it acceptable? I'm curious because I think that we are taking a real shift in America now where the belief that women empowerment is totally has to deal with the vagina and it has absolutely nothing to do with intelligence anymore, it has nothing to do with mental fortitude, it has nothing to do with spiritual strength, it has nothing to do with anything other than the vagina. That's it. That's the only thing it has anything to do with. 
It's not about how women are so often the backbone of the family. It's not about how it's damn near impossible for a man to be a good man without a good woman. Like, I'm stating what I believe to be facts, by the way. So, I think that what we're doing at this point, I don't know if it's just an American thing or a worldwide thing, but it seems like we're just creating a situation where women and all of their power is located in the vagina and nowhere else. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. My Hey little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me.